Hey, hey, it's the coach. How are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports. And we are here with the Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. My player career mode. Today is a big day because at the end of the last episode, I didn't realize that we had a manager message coming in saying that we have a transfer offer. I still haven't opened it, as you guys can clearly see. If you're excited about today's epi, hit that like button and of course subscribe if you are new 17 year old cristiano ronaldo jr so far 11 matches played three goals and three assists and just earned our starting lineup spot one more time also i realized in the comments down below people were telling me that last episode we actually played as a left back once which is not really the ideal position for us to be in cristiano belongs to the attack and our team belongs to the top squads in the league. Currently, we are in the sixth position with Salford City and 16 points on our record. We hopefully will be able to push this team into the top three to get them the promotion they deserve. The question is, though, is Cristiano going to be remaining in this squad or is he going to be leaving during some point this year? 10 games in, only in October, and we have transfer offers. Let's check it out straight away. I'm excited about this now, you know. I don't know what it is. Here it is. It's a transfer offer from Monterrey. That is a team in Mexico. No, I think it is. Why would I why would I go there? Okay. I mean, it's not the best, but I guess we will have to go ahead and reject that offer right there. And recent performances, the coach is saying, I've been really disappointed with what I've seen from you lately. I'm not sure I can count as you as a member of the squad. But we have proven ever since that that we are able to help the team out now. And I need to check these notifications more often for sure because we might have missed on a couple of transfer offers before just because I didn't see it. But comments from the last episode. We have one from Chabalala. He says, Johnny, you don't need to hold back on training to stop growing. Just don't use the skill points to upgrade your player. You can add all the skill points back when you transfer to a bigger team. So yes, you're right. Actually, I can train. It only increases my XP. And the XP that we get, we just won't spend. I think 75 rating is more than enough for League 2. We're, gonna, we're just going to hold back from this point on. 75 is the maximum rating we're going to go for for our player. And from then, we will see what will happen later on in our career. As we go ahead and train, we make sure that we are in the starting lineup. But other than that, I think we're not going to be growing anymore. Let me know in the comments down below if you think it's okay for Cristiano to be held back at the 75 rating. In the comments down below, let me know. Now, this upcoming match, we're going to be playing as a left winger for our squad. Not a left back, not a striker. The coach has been trying us out in multiple positions. Hopefully, later on into this game, we can see Kai Rooney coming on. That would be a beautiful thing to see. Also, yesterday, Champions League football at its best. There's a new Sheriff in town. That is the thing that everyone has been saying, basically, since yesterday. Sheriff Tiraspol has beaten Real Madrid with an insane, insane goal from outside the box with the outside of the foot into the top left corner. It was an amazing day of football and obviously Liverpool winning 5-1 was very convincing as well. Good to see Salah do well. Curtis Jones was unbelievable. Firmino comes on and scores two goals. What a day of football. Let me know your thoughts about PSG beating City, by the way, with Messi's first goal uh, for PSG. The fans were freaking out and I absolutely loved it. Oh, our perk is enabled. It is the passing play for our team as we jump into this matchup. Now, as a left winger, in terms of objectives, let's see what we have. So we have get a match rating of at least 8.5, get a team possession rate of at least 60%, and have dribble success rate of at least 35%. Enhanced target is 50%. So basically, every second dribble that we go into, we have to go ahead and win it. So let's do it right here. That's a good dribble straight away, and we lost it right after. Here we go. Down the left-hand side, we're going to be making some space for our team to run into. Cristiano running into that space. Now looking for options down the middle. He finds it. Oh, that's beautiful. Well played by our squad. That's the first attack that we created there. I'm right here, mate. Play to me. I'm surrounded by players, but that is a great dribble. And we're going to move it forward straight after. That's even better. Now, we got to dribble well. 
to get away from these people. And we do. We run down the wings. Cristiano. Ah, I didn't see him coming, man. That's one of the issues that I have. I can't see with this camera angle properly. Play me through, buddy. Let's go. All right. Now we got the game ahead of us. We cut inside like we have done in the last episode, but we can't get the shot off. We're moving, though. Team is moving forward nicely, and it's a great goal. It is the same man. Asante was his name, wasn't it? This guy is scoring absolute bangers right now for Salford City. And that win, if we can win this here, this could take us up into the ranks that we want to be in. This is a huge passing play put together by our squad and an even better finish. Quality goal by Brandon Thomas Asante. What a beast he is. I wish it was, this was Rooney, you know. But Rooney is on the bench, stuck, waiting for his chance. Cristiano. Great dribbling. Ah, oh, mate. I was already through. We could still score. No, they do get that. 7.3 rating, though, so far in the first half. If we can get maybe a goal or an assist, it's going to be a great game for us. I'm going to be playing it back to my teammates. I'm making my runs. Nothing's necessarily happening here. Cross me. Yes, I'm here. Cristiano! Let's go! What a run in behind the defense! So, yes, mate! Did you see that run? Good attacking play combined with absolute quality finishing. Cristiano is on fire right now, as you guys can clearly tell. Let's take another look into this goal. The build-up. I see the defender, the one right there, pushing everyone off. And basically, I was onside there because of their left back, I think it was. And I realized there's space to get in behind the defenders that were ahead of me. And Ronaldo is finishing it with absolute quality on his left foot. What a goal that is for our team, boys. 2-0 up. Salford City, 8.3 rated. This is my game. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, my God. How did he pass it into me? Oh! <laughs> Everything we do is working right now. Sue number two. Cristiano is in top form. Hey, I'm not surprised that there's transfer offers coming in for him. Now, the next few transfer offers that we will be getting are probably going to be for much larger teams. What an incredible pass that was. And that is once again a quality finish. Cristiano, how did you do that? The defender was right there. Why is he not reacting? And I feel like the goalkeeper pulled his hand away. Hold on a second. What is going on here? Have my, have the, has the president of our club paid our opponents for them to not actually intervene? Because look at this. The defender's foot is closer to the ball than I am. Somehow, I still managed to take the shot. Okay. But look at this now. The shot is coming in. Goalkeeper could easily stretch his hand more. But he still has his hands angled. Like, his arms are still angled. They are not stretched. What is going on here? Move it. Now, pass it back into me. Here we go. Cristiano. I see someone in the center just completely open. Pass it back to me. Finesse. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. I wanted him to do the zoo. <laughs> It's a hat-trick. It's our first ever career hat-trick. Cristiano is dominating League 2 as we speak. The green time finesse shot. The keeper is a joke, by the way. The guy is absolute trash. But why did he fake me out, bro? I, I, was, I was waiting for the suit to do it together. What are you doing, mate? I thought it was me and you. <laughs> he just made me look like an absolute fool. <laughs> Biscuit's gonna enjoy editing that part. He loves making me look like a fool. It's true. That's me. Into our teammate. And we get taken out. A foul being played against us. And there goes our team. 81st minute. Can he do it by himself? Come on then, son. Mate. This is our biggest win of the season. Our opponents are nowhere near our level. For the first time, I actually feel like we have a decent squad together, man. Hopefully, this can spur us on for better performances in the future. But this is clearly the best we've ever done. Ronaldo Jr., 50th, 55th, and 69th minute. The man of the match gets himself the ball as he completely deserves. 
an incredible performance. It's a coming to coming to form type of performance, really, this one. We get ourselves the three goals, good passes completed, nearly 14 kilometers covered, which is absolutely massive, by the way. Uh, but generally speaking, this was 100% our best game. And Asante is doing well as well. I'm so happy with our performance. Down that left midfield spot, we have done an exceptional thing here and gotten our best performance ever. The coach should be absolutely loving us. I am fully expecting us to be in here now. Oh, we have lost one of the uh, objectives. The coach is pretty happy with us by the looks of things. He's calling everyone to him and, and all that good stuff. Yeah. You see, the players are really saying congratulations to us, man. They're coming up to us and just basically saying that we had a really, really good performance. I love to see that, man. Makes me so happy. And there it is. The player of the month trophy is in our hands, guys. We are officially, the, uh, not the player of the month, player of the match uh, trophy, man of the match, I should say. Uh, but yeah, we get ourselves a plus 15 for the starting 11, 3000 XP, which puts us up to level nine. This was clearly our best performance ever. So happy with that, man. Just feel sad about Kai Rooney. He's not getting the chances he deserves. Now, the next match is a big one, lads. Look at that. It's third versus fourth. Salford City against Hallpool. This is another big one, and we are now kind of guaranteed to be a starting lineup player. Really, really love seeing that. So um, let's hope and uh, pray that that works out for us into our favor. And maybe at some point we can become the captain of the team. That'd be even better. Still no Rooney in a starting lineup, man. I, I just want him to play. Why is he not able to play? Makes me so sad. We're going to be enhancing the shots on target objective, boys. That's the one. Let's see if we can get... I think it was five, wasn't it? It is... No, four shots on targets. And 8.5 and score one goal from outside of the box. Wow, I'm now to be expected to score from outside the box. That just shows once again how good Cristiano is. The kid is a super talent. And I've even seen, after the last episode that we posted, I've seen that there was another... Um, what was it called? Like a journalist talking about Cristiano's son where uh, he's actually like doing extremely well in a youth academy for Manchester United, which is pretty nice to see. And uh, we lose the ball. Great. Well done, Johnny. I'll make my way inside. Cross hint. Oh, first chance. Cristiano moves inside for the shot. Now let's see if he can get past people for the header. He jumps. He heads it. Just like his dad. He rises up between a bunch of people and now he does it again. Of course, when I don't stand up, he's going to do the sue. Anyways, do you see that? That is our first header goal. As you guys know, Cristiano Ronaldo is known for being able to jump extremely high and head the ball pretty well as well. I'm pretty sure he has like over 100 goals with his head. I don't know. He probably does. But here, look at that. He rises up. Oh my, what a header that is. Goalkeeper stands no chance. And our amazing form continues for Salford City against the team that is right below us in the league table. If this isn't an advertisement for us to get a move, I don't know what is, man. Maybe, just maybe, in January already, we might have to make a move, boys, because it seems like we're getting to a point now where we might be too good for our opponents. But I don't know. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself after just two games of performing well. Last episode, we were still struggling out here. Oh, great. That's the one. Oh, yes. We put the pressure on the defender to make the mistake. Salford City scores again. It's Henderson, the man that plays ahead of Rooney. And he gets it done for himself there. Oh, man, How, what would I give to see Rooney score these bangers, man? I honestly would love to see that. Chipa doesn't get a hand on to it. It's 2-0. Salford City is ruining their opponents as we speak. Uh, I got to get a couple of shots on target. So let me just quickly run past this, man, and red time this. Oh, my Lord. Does that count as a shot on target? It does. That's a disgrace. <laughs> we do have some space down the left if they want to find me. Ah, oh, lads. Hold on, we could shoot from there easily. Give it back to me. Oh, no one's attacking me. All right, then. Oh, that's beautiful. Mate, that looked so nice. Oh, hold on. Outside the box. I got to score from outside the box. I keep on trying. 
8.4 though. I'm just going to be trying something out, guys. I just requested a sub. I want to know what happens when you do that. Oh, hold on. Before that happens though, we could be scoring. Cristiano. Oh, that's awful for me. I need to be doing much better there. That is so bad. Such a poor finish. After that, I should be subbed off to be fair. Um, but we will have... Oh, hold on. Maybe one more chance. Go on. Bang it. Oh, that was quality passing. But do we get subbed off now? And if we do, how does that impact the manager's rating for us? That's what I want to know here. Uh, so we are getting subbed off. Who's coming on for me? It's Hunter coming on. It does show our uh, our goals and everything here. So that's pretty good. This is covered was quite a lot. And then we're going to be simulating the rest of the match. Are you sure you want to sim the rest of the match? Yes, I do. I do. All right, that, there we go. It's a 2-0 win. What happens with the manager rating? That's what I want to know. Do I still get the cutscene here? Yes, we do. Okay, so after we have completed our objectives, we can actually request a sub and simulate the rest of the match. That is going to save me a lot of time. So that's actually pretty good. We didn't score from distance, but we did get ourselves a plus 15, and that matters a lot. 13 games, 7 goals, 3 assists. I mean, it's getting better and better for ourselves, but... I do still want to know what's going on with Rooney, man. What is happening with this young man? He's still at the 65 rating. No one else is growing, though. Or would it not show for me? I wonder. Does it show like plus ones and stuff? But it's sad to see. Rooney has gotten 10 games playtime, which is half of what we have going on for the top players right now. That needs to be better, man. And we did also, this team brought in Melor as a player uh, on transfer, and he's playing ahead of Rooney now. So... I don't know what's going on with this 15-year-old man. He is struggling. Hi, Rooney. I wish you the best, but currently it's not going well for you, is it? Would you quickly take a look at the league table? Salford City, 22 points. All because of Cristiano. I would love to believe that. So what are our objectives this time? Match rating, avoid losing the match, win or draw. Um, You know what? I'm going to go with that one. I like that quite a bit. Going to be an easy objective to achieve. But also the other one was get what? Get at least two goals and or assists. Oh my God, I'm getting too strong for myself. They're expecting madness from me every game now. Move it, move it. Yes, come on now. Cristiano plays it to his teammate. Well done. A decent pass. We move into the attack now. I uh, needs help though. Yes, he gets the help that he needs. We pass it across again. Beautiful football. This is class. Salford City, man. Look at the football we're playing right now. A nice movement from Cristiano now. Can I get the ball, please? No? All right. There we go. We got it now. Cristiano got to use the line to his advantage and brings it back into his teammate. Teammate passes back to us, though. Oh, mate. I don't even know what to do here. We got some space to run into now. Cristiano has it. Cuts back in. Well done. Cristiano still going. Teammates arrive at the scene. Go on. Asante. See, I'm I'm creating the chances. I'm dribbling past people. I'm getting the team going. Get in there. Far post, I see you. Far post, I see you. Yes. Another skill to add to what we are doing here. That perk that we have, I think, uh, helps with crossing as well. So that's good. Ah, uh, teammates. Go on, play it. What, are you, what is he doing? Oh, he's passing it to me. Yes. Come on now. Oh, man, I didn't think I would score in this game, you know. It has been a rough one for us. But finally, whew, I'm out of breath from just one sue. <laughs> that is a good. That is very good. I thought that pass was on our teammate, but the way Cristiano takes the ball with him, the defender was not able to uh, keep up with it. And that shot is too good for the keeper to save. This man is just on incredible form right now. Six goals in 11 matches. That is very good considering that we have been playing most of these matches by now on that left midfield position, man. We're just getting into the right spots. I need to still get one more assist or goal here. So let's see if we can do it. Talking about let's see. I can't see anything. Cristiano! It's done. It's done. Let's run to the fans, man. Run to the fans. I couldn't see anything. Everything was blurry, but Cristiano still manages to run past people and get it done. Oh, boys, I'm going to request a sub, man. I'm tired as hell. <laughs> I am so tired. Take me off, coach, please. We're coming off. Please put Kai Rooney in. Nope, they're not putting him in. 
I did my best for the team one more time. And it shows. It's two goals for Cristiano. Three misses and three on target. Two goals. Oh, they came back with a goal in the 87th though. But it's okay. We got it done. Cristiano is leading it still. And 25 points here. We are absolutely rocking it right now when it comes to the manager rating and we're about to le uh, reach level 10 by the way wasn't there something that i wanted to enable by the way when it came to this didn't i want to like enable more skills or something like that what is this which which one adds skills i'm only a three star skill move player right now it's really doing my head in does this increase my rating am i still 75 rated after this i hope i am but i would love to be a four star skiller are we Yes, we're still 75 rated. Let's go. We're now four star skilling, boys. Let's get it. No messages, though. Why am I not getting any transfer offers? I want more than this. Any transfer offers before that? No, nothing yet. Yikes. I'm going to start simming some matches now that I earned my starting lineup spot. I want to see if we can move forward a little bit faster here. It will only be the match rating that will be affected. Ooh, we lost the game. That's not ideal, is it? We lost it. I would assume that's going to take down a lot in my rating, though. Ouch. Minus 15. Ugh. Not great. Not great. Kai Rooney. Did he play? He was unhappy. We have leveled up. We have six more skill points coming in, which I can't use. Otherwise, I will probably go up in my rating. But we have a new slot for perks. Two slots now. Okay. What are we going to use here? Defensive corner, assist streak, boost passing attributes for a short time. Nah, not necessary. After assisting a goal. Oh, okay. That's an interesting one. Uh, increase your ball control, acceleration, and sprint speed. The boost can kick in as the player approaches the ball. Now, you know what? I kind of like that. I would like to have more speeds at times. That could be useful. Increase the player's dribbling and skill move abilities when dribbling with a ball while also granting them flare trait. Ooh, being a five-star skiller would be kind of fun, you know. I enjoy being a five-star skiller, but I guess we're going to have to earn that one for now. Distance shooter is quite huge, you know. It is quite huge for us. Five-star weak foot ability as well. All right, we're going to take that one for now. Hold on. I just made us a five-star skiller, right? <laughs> Did that upgrade our rating? No, it didn't. Let's go. Five star skilling Cristiano. Oh, we're here now. We're here now, boys. And we're here to stay. As we approach halfway through the season, basically, we could request a transfer. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Should we maybe request a transfer moving forward? Are we already too good for Salford City? How do you feel about that situation, boys? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what should we do moving forward? 15 games, 9 goals and 3 assists right now. Salford City in that second spot. Should we complete this season? Yes or no? I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit like torn, I should say. Let's see what the rating is here. Oh, we keep losing. As soon as we don't play the games ourselves, we lose all of them by the looks of things. And that is obviously not ideal. Uh, it's gonna, it, it hurt, it's hurting us. It's definitely hurting us. But luckily, with the training sessions, I can kind of balance it. So it obviously takes down rating. But we can add to it immediately with the training sessions, as you guys can see here, which then puts us back into the starting lineup. So I can sim forward a little bit faster if I wanted to. But let me know in the comments down below. Should we request a transfer? We are now in November 2021, and we have basically blown up as a player in this team right now. And whenever we play ourselves, it's fun and all that. I feel like we should at least play one more game now as a five-star skiller. FA Cup? Okay. This is it. I want to get as far to play as maybe. Maybe we get the chance to play against Manchester United. That would be a dream come true. Cristiano Jr. against Ronaldo. Ah, oh, mate, let's make it happen. But for that to happen, we have to beat Leighton Orient, who I think are in our league. So let's smash him up to pieces. The targets are, as you can see on the screen, we have to make three interceptions in the opponent's half. Oh, no. I, when you skip the intro, it goes straight to this. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, that was a mistake. We're going to learn from that. Score from distance, get a match rate getting of at least 8.5. Okay, we got to focus on those. You got to see them five-star skill moves, though. Play me. Play me. Yes. Whoppa! Whoppa! Ah, Cristiano! Don't lose it, though. Don't lose it. Okay, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Hey, you want to play to me? Yes, you do? All right, here we go. Cristiano, pushing the defense. Why is no one attacking me? Hey, man, what the hell is going on here? I'm playing on Legendary. Why is no one attacking me? Look, I scored. 
but I'm extremely confused. When I play Legendary on my regular career mode, these guys are all over me. What the hell just happened here? Is this like a glitch? A kickoff glitch? Why is no one pushing towards me? If it goes this way, we might have to upgrade to ultimate boys because this ain't it, chief. I need, I need my opponents to attack me. But then again, if we go to a higher league, obviously our opponents will be much better and not leave us that much space. So got to think about that transfer. Got to think about it. Go on. That's it. Now we move forward in numbers. We have our teammates backing us up. Cristiano with that typical Cristiano Ronaldo running type. Cuts in. Dribbles. Uh, I'm going to have to play it back. There's, there's too many players surrounding me here. I don't like it. Play me. Yes. Our teammate is making a run down the left. I saw him earlier on. Now, if you can, play me now. Yes. Well done. I have to score from outside the box still. That's terrible movement for me, man. Awful. Just because I got five-star skill doesn't mean I have to use it all the time. Pass it back to me if you need me, mate. I'm here. All right. No one's pushing me. I got to try it. Come on. It said to score a goal from outside the box. And the boy scores a goal from outside the box. That is this game pretty much done. Leighton Orient should be out of the FA Cup. And we're getting one step closer to possibly matching up against Manchester United. I know the odds are very, very small, but maybe, just maybe, we can pull it off, guys. That guy just ducks down at the perfect time. Dude, these finesse shots are so fun. I absolutely adore them. But now that we have five-star skills, if we get a little bit more pace, a little bit more ball control and dribbling, I'm going to go for skill runs. And Rooney is on. Oh, I can't get subbed off now. Kai Rooney is finally on the pitch. Come on, pass it to me. Yes. Inside. I'm here now. I'm here now. Let's go. Where's Kai? Where's Kai? I need Kai. Kai, where are you at? I can't be by myself. He's there on the far side. Go on. Oh, mate. That's not him. That was not him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. That's also not Kai. That's him there right next to me now. Oh, man. I'm trying to force the ball to the kid so he finally gets a chance to score, and I can't even do that. Oh, wow. They scored. They actually scored that banger just there now. 2-1 with one minute of added time. Uh, please be careful, lads. Please, please be careful. Let's not be doing some stupid things here. That's a good ball. I'm going to waste time down the wings. At least I tried. There we go. That game is done. Salford City have won. Thanks to Ronaldo Jr. with both of his goals. I tried to get the ball into uh, Rooney, but he just wasn't there to, uh, to meet it, sadly. And that one chance specifically, I was really looking for him. And that's one of the downsides when you use this camera angle. You can barely see what's happening to your side. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons as to why I was asking, should we use this camera angle? Yes or no? Maybe we can pull it back a little bit further and that would help. But anyways... We're through into the next round of the FA Cup. With all that being said, we have an injury in the team for Willock, but that's not that deep. We are looking at 17 games of 14 goal contributions now. Cristiano is getting better day by day, as you guys can tell. And when we go into the training sessions, once you have one certain one set up and you have like the A grade, you're just guaranteed A grades consistently. I think the way EA maybe needs to do this is like maybe like reset the training sessions after a certain amount of time. Uh, but yeah, th those are just my thoughts just now. Uh, let's see what happens if we move forward a few more days than usual and get past the Port Whale game. I wonder if it's going to be putting me down to the subs again, because that'd be ridiculous if you just skip one game. No, we're still fine. All good. Salford City, 25 points and no transfer offers yet. But as I said, guys, this is the big question of today's episode. Are we too good for this league? I think we are already. Either... We put in a transfer request or we drop down the rating of Ronaldo Jr. by taking away skill points. I am more for the first option. We started our career at Salford. I wouldn't mind if we move on to bigger things in the future. Let me know in the comments down below what you believe we should be doing. Thank you guys so much for watching the Ronaldo Jr. episode in which we just had single-handedly the best performances you have ever seen from this young man. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and peace.